simplified physics welcome to simplified physics in this lecture we are discussing on relative velocity let's begin today's lecture before starting the relative velocity you may have basic ideas on addition and subtraction of vector and about this addition and subtraction of vector we have already discussed in the previous lecture I suggest to see the previous videos on the lecture on vectors relative velocity simply relative velocity is time rate of change of position of one object with respect to another object let us suppose two buses are, buses are traveling in the same direction with the same velocity with the same velocity in same direction two buses are traveling in a straight line simply traveling in a straight line then a person is standing on the bus stand what about what does the person standing on a bus stand sees the velocities of the bus how does it observe the velocity seen by the observer is simply the relative velocity with respect to observer that means there is certain velocity of the bus for the observer on the bus stand suppose a passenger on a first bus or bus A is observing the passenger on the second bus bus B what will be the velocity observed by a person on, on a bus A to the person on the bus B that means what is the relative velocity of the bus passenger on bus A with respect to passenger on B or passenger on a bus B with respect to bus A they observe each other as address that means relative velocity of the bus A with respect to bus B is 0 so simply we can say that the velocity seen by a particular observer or a frame of reference is called the relative velocity and the frame of reference is simply the coordinate system with the time scale for an observer let's begin with for a two bodies suppose two bodies are two bodies a and b are moving with their velocities b a vector and b vector b a and b b and the theta be the angle between the b a and b vector that means they are two buses or two bodies are traveling making an angle theta with their velocities b and b b respectively then to find the relative velocity of the a with respect to observer b suppose b is a person or observer and we are finding the relative velocity of the a with respect to the observer b then for that purpose we determine we simply reverse the velocity b b that means velocity of the observer then apply parallelogram law of addition of the vector to find the relative velocity r simply negative for b and bb b and bb are two, um, two vectors traveling making an angle theta then reverse the direction of the observer that means the bb minus pv then using the parallelogram law for the b a vector and minus pv vector the resultant r is the relative value r vector is the relative velocity of the two vectors two velocities b a and b v in this way we can simply find the relative velocity of a with respect to observer b so the relative velocity of the a with respect to b is b a b equals to b a plus minus b b that means b a vector minus b a vector the velocity of a with respect to b it is that's b a vector 
b a b vector that is really velocity of v a with respect to b is equals to b a vector minus b b vector similarly the relative velocity with respect to b with respect to a as b b minus b b vector minus b a vector and and here is one more diagram just apply the parallelogram law and similarly we can apply triangle law result length or relative velocity will be same as given by the parallelogram law of addition of factor let's uh, find the magnitude and direction of the relative velocity of velocity b a b the magnitude b a b is simply given by b a vector and minus b vector at an angle 180 minus theta so simply using the parallelogram law of addition of vector b a b that is magnitude of the relative velocity of a with respect to b is b a b equals to simply apply the parallelogram law of addition of vector b a square plus b b square plus 2 b a b b cos 180 minus theta for this i once again suggest to see the previous videos to get clear concept of the magnitude so simply b a b equals to b a square square root of b a square plus b b square minus 2 b a b b cos theta because cos 180 minus theta equals to minus cos theta and the direction is similarly given by tan alpha equals to b a sine 100 minus theta by b b plus b a cos 180 minus theta equals to simply b a sine 180 minus theta equals to simply sine a and similarly cos 180 minus theta equals to minus cos a so tan alpha equals to b a sine theta by b b minus b a cos cos theta where alpha is the angle made by vector b with the relative velocity r and simply alpha equals to tan inverse b a sin theta by b b minus b a cos theta in this way we can determine the magnitude and direction of the relative velocity of the relative velocity of velocity of a with respect to b similarly magnitude and direction of the relative velocity of b b a that means relative velocity of b with respect to b a will be b a square plus b b square 2 minus 2 b a b b cos theta square root of and alpha equals to tan inverse b a sin theta by b b minus b a cos theta in this way we can determine magnitude and direction of the relative velocity of a with respect to b okay now let's see some special cases and uh, we have for the relative velocity of the a with respect to b magnitude is given by this relation and direction is given by this relation with the help of these two relations we'll discuss some special cases let's suppose to when an object is traveling with the velocity b a and observer is at rest that means observer b is at rest then relative velocity of the a with respect to b is simply b a equals to it has to remember b b equals to 0 so b a b equals to simply b vector itself now when an object a and b are traveling in same direction with velocity velocities b a vector and b vector the relative velocity b a b equals to simply b a minus b b simply you can we can go through the this relation b a b equals to b a square plus b b square and they are traveling in the same direction that means theta equals to zero so simply cos theta equals to one and simply it's a uh, in the form of b a square plus b a square minus two b a b b plus b b square that means square of b a minus b b whole square and simply we can say b a b equals to b a minus b b i hope that it's clear now and similarly when to an object a and observer b are traveling in opposite direction in such condition velocities on b a and b b respectively magnitude after b a b equals to simply b a plus b b that means simply go to the distillation cost it equals to 
theta equals to 180 when they are traveling that means cos 180 simply gives the minus 1 and it's a b a square plus b b square plus 2 b a b b only that is b a plus b b whole square simply results to b a b equals to b a plus b b or just use the this concept to find the relativity of a magnitude of relativity of a with respect to b let's see some applications of relativity the first one river boat, boat problem and boat to cross the river along the shortest part let's suppose the river is flowing from left to the right as indicated by arrow that is a starting point for the boat and b is the exactly opposite point of here that means opposite side of the position of the boat river is flowing from left to right is the position of the boat and the condition is boat should follow the shortest part and when the river the river flows will carry the boat downstream as the boat crosses the river as its uh, river is flowing because of the velocity v2 v2 is the velocity of the river v1 is the velocity possible velocity of the boat so that it can cross the boat can cross the river along the shortest part whenever boat is rowed it a uh, because of the velocity v2 it is rowed away swept away by the velocity of the river so for the shortest part the boat should be rowed upstream making an angle theta with a b so that the part shortest part a b so making if certain angle then it is swept away the boat will be swept along a b because of the flow of the river with the velocity b2 it will be it will follow the part a b that will be the possible shortest part followed by the boat so the relativity of the boat b equals to b1 minus b2 simply relativity b equals to simply b1 minus b2 and <coughs> the magnitude of b is simply b equals to b1 square minus b2 square and the boat moves across the a b with the velocity b and time of crossing the boat that is t equals to a b by b that means uh, distance by velocity t that time to cross the boat and uh, angle made by the boat should uh, angle with which the boat should be rowed is sine theta equals to p2 by b1 gives the gives the theta for angle with which boat should be rowed uh, let's see a related a problem related to the, this application a river is flowing from the west to east at a speed of zero f uh, f sorry five meter per minute in what direction should a man on the south bank of the river capable of swimming at 10 mit uh, meter per minute in still water should swim to cross the river along the shortest part let's suppose a river is flowing from west to east flowing along west to east and is the position of the boat for the shortest part uh, boat should be the result and uh, should be along AB now with reference to figures and it equals to B2 minus B2 by B1 that is 5 by 2 5 by 2 1 by 2 and sine 30 degree equals to 1 by 2 so we can say theta equals to 30 degree so both should be road 30 degree west of north so that boat cross the river along the shortest part river boat problem second part of the river boat problem boat to cross the river in the shortest time shortest time 
let's suppose a river is flowing from the left to right as before and let A is the initial position of the boat uh, and the condition is boat crosses the river not a boat it's a boat crosses the river in the shortest time boat crosses the river on the shortest time so in order to cross the boat in the shortest time boat should be rowed along EB with the velocity B1 and it will be swept away because of the flow of the river in order to cross the river in the shortest time the river velocity and B2 helps to boat boat's velocity B1 in fact boat's velocity is helped by um, velocity B1 the boat should be road along AV then the re resultant velocity B equals to B1 plus B2 B equals to B vector B1 plus B2 resultant velocity then magnitude B after resultant velocity B equals to B1 plus B2 B1 square plus B2 square and the boat should be should move across AC with the velocity B and the theta then theta equals to b2 by b1 theta for the theta with which the boat is swept away with and note the point that ac equals to simply x square plus s square using the Pythagoras theorem where s is the width of the river and bc equals to x and the time of crossing the river that is the possible shortest time for crossing the river is ac by b AC by B that is AC is the displacement or uh, distance covered by boat B is the velocity relative uh, magnitude of the resultant velocity this gives the time for the shortest time for the crossing the river by the boat and some additional relation tan theta equals to B2 by B1 as well so X by S so simply we can say X equals to S into B2 by B1 Let's discuss the problem related to the application. A river is flowing from the west to east at a speed of 5 meter per minute in waist direction. Should a man on the south bank of the river capable of swimming at a 10 meter per minute still water should swim to cross the river in the shortest time? River is flowing from west to east as indicated by arrow. And in order to cross the river, the shortest time the river should be crossed along AB, that means the component velocity of the resultant velocity B, component velocity of the B, that means along AB from south to north, one has to swim from the position A to along position B. And theta is the angle made by the relative velocity. B of the swimmer in the south north direction that means uh, velocity B relative uh, velocity then time taken to cross the river is simply displacement by velocity displacement AB by velocity B1 and B1 equals to simply it's a x component of the B so B cos theta yes equals yes by B cos theta so time taken is simply time taken is time taken to cross the river is yes by b cos theta the most important point is for the shortest time cos theta should have maximum value and cos theta has maximum value that means trigonometric function sine theta and cos theta has maximum value only the, the maximum value is 1 so cos theta equals to if cos theta equals to 1 then theta equals to 0 degree that means if the swimmer swims along AB that means swimmer swims making angle 0 degree in the north south direction then the person can swim in the shortest time and another application relative velocity relative velocity of a man with respect to rain let us suppose 
brain is falling vertically downwards along and and man is stationary what is totally the velocity of love rain with respect to man it is vertical downward obviously along and that means br itself as the first special case is a case we have discussed in the written cases of the relative velocity yeah so so when rain is falling vertically downward and man is stationary man is not moving the man should has to help the umbrella vertically to save himself from the rain the relative velocity of man which is with respect to rain with respect to the relative velocity of man sorry relative velocity of the rain with respect to man will be vertically downward that means along ng so if you are confused with once uh, go backward after this video to see that the relative velocity if the observer is at rest the relative velocity is velocity of the object itself that means the rain velocity of the rain with respect to man is vertically downwards or simply along ng if man is stationary suppose consider man is walking is to west towards the west with the velocity b towards the east sorry according to diagram towards the east from west to east with the velocity b m that is the velocity of man and rain is falling vertically downward along n z with the velocity b r now just use the basic concept of the finding the resultant velocity first impress the negative velocity of the bm that means along o w that is minus bm then take the resultant velocity of the br and bm that gives the relative velocity of the rain with respect to man using the parallelogram law of addition of factor that means simply br m equals to square root of br square plus bm square plus 2 br p m cos theta is it theta and that theta is different from the this theta i uh, want to mention this theta suppose this as alpha or simply the angle between br and bm that is 90 degree not the this angle theta this is simply the uh, let's suppose as alpha instead of theta that is the angle between br and b minus bm that is 90 degree so it is written as brm equals to square root of br square plus bm square plus 2 br bm cos 90 degree and simply cos 90 degree equals to 0 so brm equals to square root of br square plus bm square or just simply apply the pythagoras theorem in the triangle o r g o r g simply apply the pythagoras theorem you will get the brm and let it be the angle that brm makes angle with the vertical direction then tan theta equals to simply in a triangle once again in, in triangle o r g you will get um, tan theta equals to bm by br in this way we can find the position of the umbrella or angle at which the rain falls with respect to motion of the man or simply a man that is brm direction of uh, with which the okay let's see the problem rain is falling vertically downward at a speed of 20 meter per second a person is running in the rain with a speed of 10 meter per second from the north to south in which direction should he hold his umbrella rain is falling vertically downward with the um, velocity b r equals to 20 meter per second bm that is the velocity of the man that uh, man is running 10 meter per second due south and in order to save uh, from the rain the man should hold his umbrella in the direction of relative to velocity of the rain with respect to man that is brm equals to br minus bm that is along rp direction one has to hold the umbrella the umbrella should be held at an angle theta also tan theta equals to bm by br and tan theta equals to once again bim equals to 10 br equals to 20 that is 1 by 2 and simply theta equals to tan inverse 1 by 2 means 26.5 this 56 degree so umbrella should be held at an angle 26.56 degree with the body direction so that one will be safe from the raining 
and this is the end of the lecture thanks for watching the next lecture will be the some more problems under relative velocity and don't forget to subscribe share and comment thanks for watching